In past videos, I've mentioned several AI image generators you can use, but most of them have their limitations, whether it's daily token usage or other restrictions. But if you're looking for something that's completely free, well, there are definitely some choices that exist. There's a free, unlimited generator that you can use, and you don't even need an account. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about this tool and how to maximize its incredible capabilities. Let me introduce you to Raphael AI. And before we dive in, if you want to stay updated on the latest in free AI tools like this one, our community shares discoveries like this one all the time, and you'll get access to the tools even before the videos are made about them. Now, about Raphael AI. This site has useful tools, and once you're here, you'll see why it's valuable. At the top of the page, you'll see various options like Expand Image, an AI photo editor powered by Flux Context, and a Remove Background feature. Let's start by focusing on its AI image capabilities. Raphael AI is powered by the Flux One Dev model, which is currently considered one of the best open source AI image generation models available. At the center of the page, you have your main prompt area where you can describe exactly what you want to see. Below that, you'll find several important options. Aspect Ratio Selection, which gives you the option of Square Aspect Ratio 1 to 1, Wide Aspect 3 to 2, and Tall Aspect 2 to 3. You also have style controls for color, lighting, and composition. The style controls aren't just decorative, they can add a little extra to your results. Notice the negative prompt feature. This is where you can specify what you don't want in your image. For example, if you don't want blurry images or extra fingers, you can add those here. Here's what I usually include in my negative prompts. Blurry, low quality, distorted, extra limbs, watermark. The high quality toggle ensures you get the best possible results, but that requires a subscription. At the top right is an option that allows you to edit an image. We'll cover that later. If you want to try a random prompt, click the random button, but I recommend crafting your own prompts for better control. Let's go ahead and create something together. Check out my description here. Make sure that your prompt is specific. The more detailed the prompt, the better your results. Just make sure to keep the character count below 800, similar to Dreamina. Here is the secret to writing better prompts. Think like you're describing a movie scene to someone who's never seen it. Include the main subject, the setting, the mood, the lighting, and the style. For example, instead of saying house, try modern two-story home with white exterior walls, black window frames, well-maintained front lawn, clear blue sky, natural daylight, real estate photography style. For free users, a capture will appear each time before the generation. Also, make sure to save any images you like immediately. The library of images automatically resets after a bit of time after being idle. Also, if you refresh the page, the images will be reset. Each generation will produce four images and takes a moment to complete. What's great about using four variations is that you can see the different interpretations of your prompt, and often one will be significantly better than the others. At the top of each image, you have the option to refine, edit, or download the picture. Each picture usually comes out at a lower resolution, typically around 512 by 512 for square images. You can use the refine feature to upscale the image to a higher resolution before downloading. This upscaling often adds detail that wasn't visible in the original. If you want to change any aspect of the picture, go ahead and click edit. This will take you to Raphael's AI photo editor, where you'll discover Raphael's image editing capabilities. This is powered by Flux Context. You can edit your existing image or upload an image and give simple text instructions to modify it. Want to change someone's clothing? Add objects to a scene, remove unwanted elements, just describe what you want. If you're unfamiliar, Flux allows you to do some pretty amazing things with your pictures. You want to change just a scene, background, or simple object, this model will do that. If you want the full experience of Flux Context, head over to playground.bfl.ai. Now this feature does take credits. You get 10 per day and this option takes two. So make sure that you're aware of how many credits you have. Make sure to save your credits for your most important edits and use the basic image generating for experimenting. Next is the expand image feature, and this is genuinely useful for content creators. Upload any image and Raphael can extend it beyond its original boundaries, creating larger compositions while maintaining visual consistency. The resolution of these images is 1280 by 720. This is perfect for creating thumbnails, banners, and extending photos for different aspect ratios. For example, you can use this feature to turn vertical phone photos into horizontal desktop wallpapers, and the results are pretty impressive. 
The AI understands the context and style of your original image and seamlessly extends it. And the background removal tool is nice too, but it has its limitations. You can upload any image and it will remove the background. There are options to add preset backgrounds, erase existing elements, and use effects like blur background and add vignette. One thing to keep in mind, while the core image generation is completely free, some of the advanced features like high quality downloads and certain editing capabilities require a subscription. But honestly, what you get for free is more than enough for most users. If you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. If there's anything else that you're looking for, please let me know in the comments.